Greetings world walkers, Fayot here and in this vid we're gonna look at how you can defeat Phelan or Farin depending on which one you pick as your opponent. First order of business, his sword swipe combos. He will perform sword swipes at various degrees of delay and you have to be on the lookout for said delay whenever you try to dodge. He will summon those flying projectile orbs that you can destroy and will try to attack you from a range. And that flash that you just saw around me is an attempt for him to pull you towards him and you have to either dodge it fast or if it comes out in the second phase of the fight, you have to perfect dodge it to avoid the effect. One thing that has to be understood about this fight is that there will be a lot of perfect dodging required. When he summons this wall of light orbs, you have to make an opening and just pass through. They do not fire at the total length of the arena, they fire just around them. But he will be able to coop you up and attack you with the other one to two orbs that he will summon beside him, like you see here. So these orbs don't fire too frequently or quickly, but the damage is substantial and they can track you. Let's get back to the swipes. There are two types of swipes, there are the normal or slightly delayed ones and the ones that are followed by a flash of light, his distinct light show effect. This can lead into two possible scenarios, one is that he's switching up his combo and the other one is that the attack itself will actually be followed by one of these huge ass swords that you see there falling on your head as well. In the second phase, as soon as it starts, it will try to pull you with a flash and you have to perfect dodge it as you see here. Then the attacks will come at random, there is no rhyme or pattern to how he attacks. Make sure you prioritize making room by breaking at least one of these orbs and then attack his floating orbs beside his head in order to create room. As you saw here, I fell victim to the swipe I mentioned earlier and not only did he swipe at me, but there was also a sword that came on top of my head and hurt like a son of a bitch. Those deal a huge amount of damage and what I would suggest, if you can have it on your build at this point, is to have something that generates a shield. If you have a shield on you, your life can be saved in a clutch. Here I perfectly dodged the attack that hit me prior. Another wall, I move to the side of the arena this time, I take out the wall with my melee weapon. Do not underestimate melee stuff in Remnant 2, they're extremely, extremely potent. And now, it's again business as usual. The boss has three phases, so you want to be in as good a health state as possible when you get to the third one, and I'm gonna explain why in a bit. Also, guys, the Siphoner trait is an excellent addition no matter what kind of build you are running. It's pretty much free lifesteal. So an item with lifesteal and the Siphoner trait combined are an excellent combination to keep you alive if you don't have many healing resources. You don't want to go into these fights wasting one use healing resources and then have to rebuy them because in Remnant 2 we're all very very poor. It's not like from the asses where we didn't know what to do with the money. Third phase, he will just drop all his tools, move around in ethereal form while swords are dropping from the sky and will try to get you out of position, surprise you and swipe at you with his blade that deals a ton of damage as you see here. What is the course of action in this case? Stay above 75% of your HP at all times because he hits very very hard and what you actually want to do is make him miss the sword swipe so you have a moment to damage him in return. As soon as he realizes that he's taking damage he will revert back to ethereal form and the only effective way of dealing a good chunk of damage is to dodge the sword swipe that I just ate in the face here and before he can teleport back into the air you can hammer him with your weapon off choice. Abilities will help him as well, of course, like the stomp that the challenger can employ, but for me the best course of action has been to just headshot him again and again for as much damage as possible. Of course I started Gunslinger, so my crits are pretty potent, 
but that will depend on your build. Here he was also one level above my power level, which didn't help much, but I managed to pull through, dodge the sword, give him the horns. Hope this was easy to follow and useful, sub, like and hit the notification bell. I'm trying to cover as much stuff in Remnant 2 as possible, so your support is appreciated. Until next time be well, stay frosty and always try for perfection. Cheers!